Welcome to Super GG Radio's Beta Breakdown, where we break down those betas we talk about every week on the Super GG Radio podcast. Today we have Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, Danger Darkness Dwarves. That it's a long title. This is a long title. Uh, to be fair, it ends after Survivor. It's just. It's always Danger, Darkness, Dwarves. That's the whole Deep Rock thing. Well, I'm Alex Arona, and uh, the person who spoke before he was properly introduced is Alec Parks. Hey, Alec, what's going on? Hey, nothing much. Always breaking podcast protocols. That's what we do here. There are protocols? Kinda. Kinda. You're not supposed to swear within the first like ten minutes of a, of a podcast as well. That's a whole other thing. There's a, there's some there's some unspoken rules, but we're not talking about unspoken rules today. We're talking about Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. This is a spinoff of Deep Rock Galactic, correct? Correct. This is the first spinoff uh, since uh, Ghost Ship Games moved into publishing instead of just developing. Okay, they're now they're the now what are they called? Fun Day Games? Is that a whole other thing or whole other thing. It's a different company that's working within the umbrella of Deep Rock Galactic and publishing under uh, Ghost Ship Games Studios. Okay, so Ghost Ship has now licensed the Deep Rock IP, is that correct? Correct. Wow, very cool. Interesting. Interesting stuff. I, I didn't they they were they were they were a pretty small team, aren't they? They were, yes. Um, I, they've definitely grown and have had a lot of success with the Deep Rock Galactic base game. And you have an extensive amount of time with that game, correct? Yeah, I've got about 200 hours on there. And every time they pump out DLC, which uh, really is just cosmetic, I end up buying it. Uh, well, you know, and it's still, you want to you give the developers money to a game that you've spent so much time, obviously 200 hours on, right? Exactly. But right now we're talking about this game, Survivor. Uh, what it, what would you say is a genre if you had to give it a if you had to? Oh uh, well, we're in a vampire survivors clone territory. Oh, you know, I didn't realize that. Wow, yeah. Okay. So this one we've got it's a single player based, and you're going through a deep dive, targeting to take out a a big nasty after five stages. Why don't we go okay. ahead and play? Uh, yeah, go ahead and hit play. So there's different uh, environments, and in the demo we just have the Crystalline Caverns. Fantastic. This is currently in Early Access? Cur uh, well, just demo, yeah. Oh no, it says it's going to be in Early Access, sorry. It will be, yes. Yeah. And there are different hazards. Has 1, has 2, has 3, uh, 4, and 5. And as you complete biome goals it'll unlock greater hazards and right is that now like we difficulty don't. levels yes it is okay all right well so tell let's me get yes, rolling uh, yeah let's get going and we're going to play with the classic scout because that's all that we have the option to do this is it Fantastic. either the dreadnought goes or we send in another dwarf you'll be on your own in there make it count so the big difference here, what we see right off the bat, is that we still get to mine things. Oh, wow, until you level up from now. Okay. Yep, you level up for mining. There are different types of resources. There's gold, nitra, jadits. Um, those are the big ones that I've seen so far. Every time you level up, you're given three items that you can choose to Okay, so I see upgrade yourself. Increase weapon level, increase the damage bonus of crits, and increase all damage over time from acid, electrical, and fire. Do you have acid, electrical, or fire? I do not. So we're just going to give my base gun 15% more damage and increase I, I do see that there are uncommon, one. common. We're getting the, the levels here of, like, rarity, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh wee The fuck wounds like this one! And you are not shooting, like, with any kind of input, correct? Correct. The game is on auto-fire. Uh, different weapons will fire at different rates and at different targets. Some of them will target the biggest clusters. Uh, some of them will target the, the ones with the most health. On the way. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Let's, uh, I'm always a big fan of experience gain. I mean, then you get to level up more, right? Yep. Definitely. More levels. And so uh, most levels, they will drop a supply pod. 
-hmm. which gives you three artifacts to choose from. Okay, so there's more things to kind of fit in there. Yes, and these are out of band uh, level ups, basically. They have uh, limited effect, but they persist through the levels and have different bonuses. I'm going to go with, ooh. So red sugar heals you. And if I take this one, it increases my max HP by two every time I get healed. Or I get a chance to find experience or gold. I mean, whatever you think would be best for the run, right? This yeah. Let's, let's assume I'm not going to need much healing. It's a pretty big assumption, Alec. It is a huge assumption. All right, so mining is just kind of for more experience, correct? Uh, no, not just experience. Uh, as with most games uh, in the Vampire Survivors genre, you have artifacts and power-ups that you can buy outside of a run. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, new weapon. Ooh, okay. So this one, these all sh say what they target. Okay. Uh, the M1000 targets HP with the high, highest HP enemy. Okay. The Zukov constantly shoots in four directions. Very cool. And a cryo grenade deals cryo damage and slows things down. I'm a big fan of the M1000. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. The scout just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Wow, you are leveling wow. up pretty fast. Yeah, it slows down here after a little bit. Okay, and uh, so do you swap weapons, or is it auto? It is auto. They are constantly all going. Oh, okay. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I wonder how a dwarf is shooting seven guns at once, but you know what? We're not going to ask the, the hard questions here. Well, and thankfully, we've only got four weapons. Okay. Still, how many hands has that dwarf got? Oh, well, we won't deal with how much help Bosco is or is not. Okay, so getting some, uh, you're getting some currency that can be used outside the, in the, uh, you know, between each run. Uh, so that's right. Pretty cool. Do you have to and collect experience from killing the enemies or no? Yeah, it is the blue the cubes. All right, so you have to still go and collect. It yes. Unless you get that item that just sucks it all in. Yes, and th that is a holdover that we're familiar with. Yep, that's how I know it. I, 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 I gotta tell you, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Ah. I do like the big difference here is that all terrain is destructible. We're used to that with the Brock Galactic. Okay. Oh. How'd you get it? Oh, you got an item that sucked all the experience in. Yep, it was a big magnet. And you get okay. There is an elite slasher abound. So yeah, each level ends with a elite enemy that is randomly determined when it uh, pops out at you. Okay. Oh, there he is. I see. There he is. Yep, that big that big old slasher is our bad guy. The I have part seen... is that your weapons are going to change focus, right? Obviously, like, your shotgun's going to be only focused on that, right? Right. And that's going to be tricky because now it's not going to be helping anywhere else. No. Thankfully, I can just slightly outpace it. There we go. Well done. Objective completed. Drop part has arrived. Get there now. It will leave without you. That feels like <laughs> rude. Well, the you have to keep in mind that management cares less about you than they care about the equipment. That's what I mean. You just you and just explained why I said it was rude. Gather up your fears and get onto that drop pod. It's about to leave. All right. So gold and nitra are your common in wall elements that you can mine and those give you the ability to buy things in between levels okay so i'm gonna go ahead and buy luck because hey higher rarities always seems like a good this way to go rock. 
I think so. And ooh, I already fire fast enough, so let's go ahead and do the reload speed. Oh, okay. I see epic, and I'm like, well, that's obvious, the obvious choice. Let's get out of here. So this big one here is Kroppa, if I recall correctly. Ah, how are they ever gonna make it? Oh no, Umanite. And that's one that you are used in the loop to buy things out of band that will persist through runs. Your increased health, increased uh, pickup radius, increased movement speed, things like that. Okay. Feel much better now. Let's go ahead and here comes the, the swarm. Up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. And we can show that loop. <gasps> oh. Probably. I do you. <laughs> uh, we've got exploders. All of our friends are here. Wow, okay. Classic, the favorites, right? Fan favorites. Yeah. I don't know if I haven't seen any bulk detonators. Uh, those are larger ones that. Uh, well, I've been waiting to get this one. Really cause havoc in the base Deep Rock Galactic. You could have been. You could have said anything, and I would have said, "Oh, okay, crazy." That shotgun shot the the shell just goes through a bunch of enemies. Yeah, well, it's designed as a, a sniper rifle. Oh, is it? Okay, it kind of yes. looks like a shotgun. Okay. Mm. Gold XP and nitro, whichever you think is more valuable. Let's go for some this gold. Nice. Why not? So I see that you kind of sometimes mine just regular walls. Like, is there any? Yeah. Like, will you will you sometimes find stuff in it? Swarm is heading your way. Load well, up. so that's what the artifacts do. Is they say they give you an op a chance of finding when you mine any rock. Okay. I thought it might At have been I like um, if you uh, get a drop from an enemy. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Oh, that goes out. Yeah. That's okay. I got healed. I blew it up by the red sugar. There we go. So we do have a jury rig boomstick, a shotgun. There we go. This is nice. Like it's a nice spread going. Wow. Okay. Now, now we're now we're cooking with gas. It seems like. We may need some help at this point. Yes. That's something that I do really like that takes a uh, the job. bit of a departure from things like Vampire Sur Well, no, Vampire Survivor has health, right? Uh, yeah, you get the ch wall chickens. Yeah. So, it feels like I have more health because I can heal. Those are loot bugs. Perfect. Or as the developers like to call them, cave wallets. Cave wallets? Yes, because they hold uh, nitra and gold. Again, I'll take your word for it. Oh, so your weapons <laughs> level up as well? Yes. This okay. Because nice. I see meters underneath them. Oh, no, that's their bullets. That, that's their bullets. Get moving. It won't hang around. So if you get when you get in the pod, right? Do yes. you does your health regen? Nice. No. Okay. You have to spend because, of course, corporate uh, management doesn't care about anything, mm -hmm. especially not the doors. Yeah. You have to spend gold to, that to, to regenerate half your health. Okay. Stage Ooh. completed. Onwards to stage three. Hey, one second's all you need. Yep, that's true. So down here we have heal 50%. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Everyone needs at least one of those. Okay, so you could buy upgrades here. You have yep. your objectives. 
Get it done, Miner. And as you go, you can also unlock additional things. Um, Look at this place. One thing I have found that you can is unlockable is you can gain secondary objectives. What's okay. Uh, and does that uh, give you more as, rewards? It does. It gives you a boatload of experience and gold. How do you unlock those? Just by playing the game, uh, let me go ahead and try and die so we can take a look at where the what's unlockable. Oh, yeah. Let's see how long this run goes. Okay. How long do you think that how long have the runs been for you? Um so Sarah getting through the Christmas tree. We got a swarming coming. To the last level, as you can see on the left hand side we've got uh we're on stage three of five. It takes about a half an hour. This doesn't seem to be going that long. Well let's at least let's finish this one. I got it in the mouth. You got it in the mouth. Mm. This looks good. <laughs> This game definitely keeps its humor going, huh? Oh, yes. Okay, I see. Yeah, you're getting... Things are exploding. You're getting... I could see this going in the Vampire Survivor route where everything's just exploding and you're just standing away. Load up. But this... I mean, that is the goal. Yes, but it seems nice. like you're keeping active. Yeah. Well, you've got to go through and collect all the experience here. Well, not even that. I mean, like, more like you're mining still. You're doing other tasks. Yes. I mean, if you're just doing the, uh, I'm just a ball of light that decimates everything, Roger eventually that. something's going to be, you know, pull a magnet, right? Ooh. Oh, there. See, again, yeah, see, you just pulled a magnet. Yep. That's kind of what I mean. Oh, let's get a little Why more XP. Oh, let's mine faster. You oh, get get back to hell. That'll heal you. Yeah! Rock and stone. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you. Oh, well, this is getting intense. Yes, it is. We are at the... Uh, stage where I'm just trying to now dodge. Yeah, start clearing paths. There we go. And there are like pits and stuff. Oh! Yet. Oh, I wow. I did not dodge. I didn't even see you kind of die. Yeah, I got hit by an exploder. Gotcha, okay. Oh, see, there we go. Collect 150 gold. Secondary objectives. Oh, fantastic. And this gives you a nice little report of what you've done. You've got your class progression. You've got how many credits you earned. Uh, what your weapons ended up doing damage-wise. And how much total damage you put out by type. Okay. Okay, I'm getting... Which, I'm, I'm checking this out. I'm seeing some good stuff here. Okay. You know, even more... And then that work. brings us back to our opening screen. We've got different objectives that we can uh, occur obtain, and where we are with those. Oh, okay, so yeah, so you got a mini map for 50 gold, 150, and you get uh, something else, right? Right. A thousand gold is the gold tip bullets, which I don't know what that is, but hey, it sounds fun. Yeah, I can't wait to find out what it does, right? Yes. And these are not in one run either, because we've got the nitrogenic powder over here that you have to collect 250, and we've gotten 110 so far. And how many runs have you done to this game so far? Um, on this install, I've done two. I reinstalled it for our beta breakdown to get it from the fresh to see everything unlock in the base experience. Okay, how far have you gotten when you were originally doing it? Uh, I got uh, about 10 runs in. Okay, okay. Let's go back and see some upgrades. So the upgrades that we've got, we've got armor, earned credits, target practice gives you increased critical hit chance, increased damage, life regeneration. 
increased luck, which everybody loves. Can you and you can reroll these or no? No, these are permanent. No, but I mean, like, can upgrades. you can you call them back and then change up how you want this to be built? Ah, uh, uh, no, the vampire survivors. Cannot. Yeah, no, you cannot. Okay. Once you once you uh, go into something, that's where it's staying. For now, again, this is still for now. This is a demo, and there's also it's an early it's going to be an early access. So, there's time for feedback. There. Oh, absolutely. Wow. I think they're early access. Uh, they have planned for 2024, according to the roadmap. Okay. Let's uh, jump in one more time. All right. So we're going through with the scout again. All right. Let's see. Okay. Hold on. We got scout here. Uh, he look. This this is a really cool kind of model. Yes. This is a, your stereotypical scout that you would see when you start off uh, Deep Rock Galactic. His beard has physics, Alec. <laughs> it's got weird jiggle physics. You need the jiggles. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Let's do it. This is it. Either the Dreadnought goes or we send in another dwarf. You'll be on your own in there. Make it count. Go so they kind of give you the first, you know, first oh, levels for yeah. right? Well, pretty much. That was um, our secondary objective is to up in the up right hand corner is to collect alpaca blooms. Are there alpacas in this? Alpaca. Alpaca. What is that? Is it like an alpaca? Uh, it might be. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. fifty percent damage. That one. seems powerful. It was a legendary one, too. Yeah. Okay, folks. Now, Alec, as as you've been the, uh, at least the, the, the big Deep Rock fan on staff, do you, do you like the the idea of uh, these spinoffs? Oh, I love the idea of the spinoffs. Um, I mean, there's always a balance that comes with them. Yeah. This, unfortunately, they've come out and said that the current season of Deep Rock Galactic is going to go up through April with the um, Rogue Course spinoff. Uh -huh. Which, I get it. I'm not super thrilled about the delay, but you take what you can get. You can't. They can't focus on the same thing yeah! for every uh, the whole time. Yeah, you gotta expand. But so you are? Yep. Are you looking forward to like Rogue Corps? Oh, I am. Uh, especially since that one is going to be multiplayer as well. Okay. But as far as this one's concerned, this this is a uh, this is already kind of a wish list win. For you, right? Oh, it's yeah. It was a wish list as soon as I found out there was a, it was uh, got a Steam page. Oh, awesome. If this doesn't bring the pain, I'm retiring. Just kidding, it will. I am a big fan of the extra voice lines too. They've really kept that deep rock feel. Yeah, it seems like the humor is on par with what it was before. So they're they're yes. keeping the universe alive, right? Consistent. Absolutely. Okay. I so this is Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. This is I, I think this looks pretty cool. I think it does I'll enough different. It it takes the the vampire survivors uh, like you know uh, blueprint uh, playbook if you will, and then just uh, adds its own spin. Right, it puts in that deep rock galactic flavor, and I think that that's absolutely. Cool. Yeah, it's got it's got it's got enough personality. I think. I mean, you but. I mean, Vampire Survivors did just add multiplayer, right? Right. So whether or not Deep Rock adds multiplayer, who knows? I, I, it's hard to imagine not considering that that's kind of been such like the big uh, bread and butter of the, the game, right? The, the whole series. Right. So you know, for you know, we'll have them drinking beer, you know, drinking the the, the giant space beers again soon. Or well, that. I do hope that they um, you achieved your objective in record time. change where the loop is oh, instead of it go. being on a main screen and we do have an opportunity to drink beers like we used to. 
Yeah, or play, uh, you know, throw the basketball around. Yes. Well, very cool, Alec. Thanks for uh, bringing this to my attention. I had not heard of this, but, you know, I, I it, every once in a while, you kind of fill me in with what's going on with the, in the Deep Rock Galactic world, and I'm always intrigued. Yes, I will always be keeping my finger on the pulse of Deep Rock and Ghost Ship Games. Awesome. And uh, that's pretty much it from us over at Super GG Radio. Uh, and uh, keep, keep it tuned to our uh, Super GG Radio YouTube channel and SuperGGRadio.com uh, for all things uh, you could find in the beta world. GG, Alex. GG, Alex. For more content like this, check out Super GG Radio on all podcast services for weekly conversations about betas, demos, news, and clearing out our backlog. You can also find us on twitch.tv slash superggradio, and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you there!